Hi. Um, I have a couple people asking me how to start investing in real estate. So I decide to show you how that we are working on right now. This is a neighborhood. This house is in cul-de-sac. This is one more house here. This is kind of problem for this one because we have a homeless person who is living there. And I'm gonna share in my next video how to deal with that problem I already figured out. And this is the house that we purchased. It's four bedroom, two bathroom, one bathroom, I'm sorry, four bedroom, one bathroom. And we paid 23,000 for it. So I just gonna show you how it's look right now. We are kind of in the middle of the rehab and um, all of us have different requirements for a house. I just gonna show you how I do it. And I am renting it for section eight. Section eight, if you're aware of it, this is a government program who helps people who are low income or have no income to pay for their housing and I'm in Cincinnati Ohio so from my experience I am just showing you the house whatever it's outside inside while I'm talking this is the backyard so from my experience section 8 would be for four bedroom around $1,200 every month and if I want to rent this house for cash, just as a regular tenant, I probably can collect 800 to 900. This is some trash that we need to take care of. This is a backyard. This is house, how it's look from a backyard. And as you see, we are working on it. We need, for Section 8, they have some stupid requirements, really, and one of them, it cannot be tripping hazard. So all this need to be leveled. You can see that it's kind of loose, you know, it's not even, so I have my guy working on it right now. Uh, also, Everything needs to be painted. There is no chipping paint nowhere. Just showing you the house. You see, it's kind of very private. It has good outside, I would say. This is backyard, backyard. House. We have some repairs that we did on the roof because it was leaking. And let's go inside. Oh, this we took out chimney. It has a fireplace in a house which is not working and I don't want to have it. So all this need to be taken care of. It's going to take some time. Uh, and we are going inside. So, as I say, it's four bedroom. And I'm gonna have an open house today. I'm trying, I'm starting to show house even before it's ready. Because usually with Section 8, it's taking time to get approval. You need to schedule inspection. And right now it's April 2020. And as we all know, we are in the middle of this crazy thing called coronavirus. This is a fireplace that I was talking about. This is the floor, how it is right now, and we will not do anything with it, just patch it and paint it, so it's gonna look something like this. You see the difference? That's all what we're gonna do. This is small closet. This is another, I don't know how you call it, living room, dining room, family room. This is room number one, room number two. This is the first bedroom. This room uh, has no floor when we bought it. So we just 
put some 10 by 4 whatever did the floor put carpet on it need to do the lighting as you can see it's not perfect job you know but it's all what we need don't think like this house it's yours where your wife gonna live sometimes tenant really destroyed the property we put new flooring here this is a bathroom bathroom had some leak when we purchased and we need to build a new casing for a door other than this we didn't do anything like i just cleaned this we put this new this new we left the old bus tub all what needed it to be cleaned that's it this is a small closet i'm gonna ask my handyman to remove this wallpaper and just paint it white this is a kitchen uh, this is linoleum we didn't do anything with it kitchen cabinets we didn't touch it it's how it is right now probably i'm gonna paint it i'm not sure maybe this is a kitchen and this door leads to outside uh, this is my man handyman stuff he's living on a property while he's working on it it's this is the most common thing in cincinnati um, as you can see, stove, it's an old stove. What we're doing, I'm just washing it really as best as I can. And that's it. Now let's go to the second floor. So as you can see, it's two rooms here. Number one, number two, kitchen, bathroom. And to get to the second floor, we have to take stairs. Second floor it's finished. Again, you see the job. It's not perfect. But it's gonna make it. Okay. This is the floors painted already. I cannot say that he did the greatest job, but people are gonna love it. Okay, and this is room number one. Room number two. And there is some noises here. Room number three. This door is making noises. This need to be painted and door need to be painted and washed. And have a lock on it. One more requirement for section eight. Each window need to open and close. So you need to, to make sure that all of them are working. I'm gonna wash all of them today. Again, this was a huge leak right here. And he told me he fixed it, but it doesn't look like it just had rains and it's still leaking. So we need to address this. And I'm gonna show you basement. What I love about Cincinnati is they all have huge basements. And you can do playrooms there. Or whatever you want. So three bedrooms upstairs. One bedroom here. Two more rooms here. And basement. Basement has not been cleaned yet. But I'm going to work on it. That's how it looks. And I'm telling you, we already did a lot of job here. Like we did all electrical, uh, roof leak, you know, some. We're working on this house for about two months right now. And I would say it's another two, three weeks left of job left. Okay, and this is a basement. That's how it look, beauty. I, I'm not sure it's just need good clean this is a stairs going outside you can get to the basement from outside another house another room electrical is good we did all electrical we put new water meter this window probably need to be replaced we just boarded up for now but uh, most likely we're gonna need to replace it 
and clean like we took a lot of stuff out of there but there is still some stuff left water heater it's working i'm not sure if my husband decided to replace it or not but that's that's it for today just think about it i mean we purchased for 24 we spent probably as of now about ten thousand dollars to fix it for material and to pay our guy and we are working here usually on weekends um, and this house should bring us about twelve hundred dollars per month so if in total we spend 35 i should get about 30 percent return on my money cash on cash and that's why i move from california to cincinnati because nowhere else you can find this kind of deals okay guys hope it was helpful bye